Hey y'all, Wild Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel. I am about to be walking this creek right here because we got a ton of rain over the last couple of days and hopefully some cool antique bottles and other vintage and antique treasures have washed out of the sand of the banks and such and we're gonna find it today. I'm uh, just getting over being sick so hopefully this is not a mistake. It was not COVID, luckily. Um, but I'm feeling a whole lot better now and very glad to be able to get out in the creek. Hopefully find some cool stuff. I got my phone right now because I left my camera up at my dad's in Georgia. Little moment of freak out. I thought I lost it. Okay, so that's very good. I'm glad I, that it's safe up there and I'll have to go get it soon. But let's get to walking and see what we can find. I'll be honest with you, not looking forward to this first step because I know for a fact it's going to be nice and icy cold. Just give it a second. It'll soak right in. Oh my God, there it is. <laughs> Yep, that's that's a little chilly, my friends. It's been getting cold at night. That's okay, though. Gonna make for a nice day of walking. This is a fun little spot to check out because there's always tons and tons and tons of trash eroding out of the bank. Got all these old tops right there. And some of this stuff, which I can now begin to collect and use for my projects. So I'm definitely holding on to a lot of that stuff, especially if it's got blue on it. That's pretty cool. This is interesting. Something Indianapolis. That would have been a cool bottle, I bet. Look at this stuff with it, just like the top stuck in that rusty stuff. It all just kind of comes out of the bank around here. And I know people kind of scratch around and dig in the bank here too, which is kind of a no-no around here, but look at that little guy. No embossing, but a cool little cork bottle, kind of cute. Maybe I'll just take that out of here. Pretty cool. And then, exactly what you didn't want to see, a murder weapon. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a little bit terrifying. I feel like I should probably take this because it's, I mean, there's all this glass too. It's not safe either, but this isn't safe either. If someone came down here and messed with this, I don't know. That's freaky though, I don't like it. There's a very nice bit of ceramic for a project later, and I think there's some blue. Check that out, right there next to it as well. Two good pieces right next to each other. Those will come in handy one day. I am getting lucky, lucky on these ceramic bits today that I'll be able to do some artwork with later. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I can link a video in the description where I made some art out of these ceramic pieces, if you haven't seen that yet. So that way you get an idea of the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Like right over here too. Look at that dark blue right there. Oh man. I am getting it good on these ceramic pieces today. That is awesome. Okay. I like to go a little bit slower when it's like this. But it just rained real hard. It's, uh, it's not very old there. Because you start to get stuff like it's less, uh, it's less like nasty, like less green stuff or whatever, coating everything. So, you know, maybe you're more likely to find small stuff like marbles and little doodahs like that. Um, I thought I just saw a piece of ceramic that I liked again. Yeah, right there. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Also, I think I just saw it. Look at that. Oh gosh. Now that piece is absolutely perfect. To use for a little ceramic mosaic thing. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. I'm glad I have something else to get excited about now when I'm looking in these creeks because stuff like this and I can make art with. It's cool. Also, look at this uh, inconveniently shaped melted thing. Ha! There's a creepy thing. <laughs> This creek got washed out. I mean, washed out good. Good thing, so I don't mind finding a bunch of cool of uh, this stuff today, but I would like at least one cool bottle. Let's keep walking. I don't know what it is about these like melted bottles that just kind of weird me out. <laughs> like they're almost like weird Picasso pieces of art, right? Like, 
That is almost, that is, it's so strange that I just kind of want to keep it. It's just so weird looking. It's kind of creepy for some reason, but I don't mind. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's just funny to me. I have a twisted sense of humor, that's all. I well, just picked that up, and at least it is a complete bottle. Oh, I say that, but it's chipped on top. But it's unembossed. It's just a, some sort of old beer bottle. So, not too interesting. You can recognize that just about anywhere. It's a knee-high. Unfortunately, unbossed. And the, the embossed ones, supposedly, are extremely common, but I've never found one. But you see people in videos finding them all the time. And I walked up this little area... Sometimes, I don't know why, I walk up here because I never find complete bottles. Well, except ones that I don't really care about. There's like a jar thing right there. That's not very old, it doesn't seem. I never really find much right through here, surprisingly. It's okay, though. Walk back down that way and keep going. I wouldn't mind if this little fella is complete, the... Oh, a little jar lid. Nope, and I think I see a marble. Ooh, yeah, check that out. That's a nice little marble. That is sweet. One day I just need to sift. Just like sift through here and find a bunch of marbles or something. I, I, I think I would find a bunch, probably. Maybe. Can we find another one real quick? Let me not get into that zone again where I spend three hours trying to find seven marbles or whatever I did that one time. <laughs> that was rough. Um, let me give you an idea, too, of just this. Like, look at the extent of this is crazy. So you go over here. That's a piece of a straight side Coke. That's a piece of a straight side Coke. There's little porcelain bits everywhere. There's part of a cork top bottle. There's something embossed right there. Part of a glass. Look at this. That Chero Cola. You can tell it's broken there at the top, so I probably shouldn't be messing around with my fingers trying to get it out even though it's busted there um, let's see there's just all kinds of amazing old stuff here I wouldn't mind another marble right here that would be kind of cool uh, so, oh gosh look at that that's what I'm talking about right there that is so perfect to use later man that is exciting This is interesting. A Walmart name tag. <laughs> okay, if there's a weird cut there, it's because I showed the back and it had a last name and I'm not gonna show that. Rude. Don't wanna give away people's identities. So that's kind of a funny find right there. Oh, wait, there's a complete bottle right there. What's up, little fella? That's cool nothing embossed on it oh that thing's blown in a mold too it's got a little tiny lip chip but that's a cool bottle oh gosh i see a complete bottle right there i think too what's going on okay so this one i'll keep that it's a pretty cool bottle set that there but now this one this literally looks like it could be a soda bottle oh it's not that old <laughs> had me fooled it had that kind of short look Okay, so, good bottle there, bad bottle. I sees more blue, ceramic little, ooh. That was a not purposeful rhyme, I promise. Look at that. Loading up on stuff today, my friends, to make cool things with later. Very, very good. I have not walked very far, and I'm having a, a blast of a time. This is great. I think just a modern beer, but just in case. What is it? It is modern. Well, it's like modern-ish. It looks like it could be from the 30s or something like that. Judging on the look of the base there. But it is machine-made. Okay. Always gets pretty hard to see right through here. All of this. It's like there could be a great bottle right down in there. It's be impossible to see. This is kind of neat right there. Look at that. It's a handle. Yeah, that could be used later for something too. I don't know. You can see right down there pretty good. Not seeing much for bottles. This little fella. 
all busted on the side. It says Sours Extracts. That would be kind of neat if that wasn't broken. I mean, they're common, but can't go wrong with a good bottle. That's not busted, but this one's busted, so we're not gonna take it. This real deep little spot has been good to me a couple times. Not seeing anything today. But just gotta show you just in case and go live, you know. Um this is a plastic bottle. Okay. Nothing great there right now. That's alright. Creek be flowing good today. This sort of jar. Not jar. Big modern bottle. Ugh. Right there, you can sometimes see some stuff, but that water is flowing a little hard today. I see nothing. Me thinks that's a bottle down there, but I think, oh, it is, it is broken, isn't it? Ooh, would have been an old one. No embossing, busted at the top. Sad about that. It's okay though, we keep a go. I will forever question why I've never found some cool bottle coming out of that bank right there. Because it seems, to not fall, like the perfect spot, right? Look at that. Just gets crazy washed out all the time. But, the bottles for a while, Kyle, there. Eh? And very deep right there, let me, oh, gosh, let me do this. Let me not get snake bit. All right, we have made it. Okay, I just walked around a spot that's always sandy and deep. And it's a little spot right here where I've found some great stuff coming down through here. So let's just kind of take you all through all this crazy and get back down in the creek. I'm curious to see. Oh. How much it's changed here. Let me not fall and drop my phone in the water. All right. One time I found a Pepsi bottle right there. A little straight side Pepsi. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what has happened. Can't tell if that's like the lid to a jug or a uh, whatever hubcap. Oh, it's like a glass lid. <laughs> Weird. Kind of would have been cool if it had the little top on there still but now it's just a hole to peer through does it take us to another world does it show us where the bottles lie probably not i just want y'all to know something smells wrong and also will this bottle will you be complete for me oh i feel it is modern i think it's huge though yuck super modern what the, what the bad one? I'm guessing this is like something to do with insulator type thing. Any idea on the age of that, anybody? Let me know in the comments. It's pretty neat looking. I don't know what good it could do, but it could possibly be used in some sort of art project or something, maybe, right? It's kind of neat. And this is actually a really pretty ceramic piece that I think I'll keep to use later as well, because that's a... Uh, I love those cracks in there. Those look really cool. Oh, check that. Hey, 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 hey. I didn't even see this one at first. Look at that piece right there. And look at this piece right there. That's some pretty stuff. Cool. Uh, oh, check that out. Man, loading up on these pieces today. Well, where's my bottles? How's about a little bit of river treasure? cell phone oh my that thing's been in here for quite a while it would seem and we're nearing on the spot right here is the exact spot i found my crazy nice hutchinson bottle a long time ago right here just sitting within these rocks what in the heck is that cardi b okay here looks to be a little cork bottle. Oh, 
It actually has embossing on it. Just says two fluid ounces. It's got a couple big old chips in there. So I may not hold on to that. But it's a nice little old cork top bottle. So that's pretty good to see. Here's a neat little doodad I just picked up. Anybody know what that would have went to? Something weird. <laughs> Things destroyed. It's a strange thing. I really have no ideas. Let me know in the comments. Uh, there's one of them there porcelain lids. It's always kind of nice to find. I don't know why I like them, but I do. These cool little porcelain discs. I'll take it. All right, everyone. I've spent about a week deciding whether or not I was going to make this video out of the footage I got. Uh, and I decided I was going to because even though I went out in the creek and I didn't really find a whole lot of incredible things, I did still find some cool stuff and just getting out in the creek is better than just about anything else. So I'm going to share the video with y'all. Anyways, I'm just now deciding that and you get to meet these beautiful farm animals right here. <laughs> this is Jupiter. This is Nacho. And this is Rose. These are Allie Lynn's animals. She's filming this right now. <laughs> She's got the most beautiful animals in the world. <laughs> I'll share I'll share more of these guys in another video. If you want, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. I will see you in the next video.